Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be playing Sonic 2. This is going to be really fun. I can't wait to do this. I'm trying to do this. Now this is going to be a very short video. So that's a pretty good one. Let me press the X. All right, click it. So should we do any of these that I continue with? Let's do a new game. Okay, let's see what character. Uh, Knuckles is really good. Can I pick Knuckles? I can. Oh, I, I did. Oh, well, I was gonna pick Tails if I could because like Tails is definitely one of the best. What the heck? Knuckles are Thank you, Wiggy. I'm a cookie for 
bacon breakfast. I can't wait to have my breakfast. I didn't have any breakfast yet. <laughs> We rely on our partners at Ferguson to make sure everything runs smooth. Happy Friday, everyone. From Happy product Friday. select. I'm gonna try and make videos on my Switch. Cause I'm gonna tell you. Uh, the only way I'm playing Cuphead is if I'm not playing my Switch. Cause I am telling you, I am amazing at Cuphead. I beat the game twice. And I beat the DLC. Twice, I'm gonna sure. Yeah, twice. And I rest I restarted the whole thing. I restarted my whole game. And I think I beat the game again. No way. So you see, I beat the game, but then I beat the game. You know why? King, you know, I would say that not all of these are definitely favorites of the group, okay? I bet you this guy. Is the worst. Wally Warbles. Okay. A tip for you guys in Cuphead: Do not do one simple mode. I thought that simple mode was the way to go. I tried simple mode. Why did it tell me to do one mode? Because I got enough problems to show off on my But then once I finished it, I was all, I was all the way at King Dice. And then he said this. Uh -huh. You get like all the contracts. And I was like, huh? And then I was like this. I got to uh, The promise was right for once. But I am a master pro CBD guy. I am really very good. And the only reason it is so hard for me is definitely Wally Warbles and King Dice. Like, if you guys don't know, King Dice is definitely one of the worst bosses, worst boss ever, because he has mini guys, he has one of those mini bosses that you have to fight before him. And I'm telling you, his boss fight is so hard. Oh! 
So, I definitely think that it's going to be about more about, I definitely think that it's going to be about more about the radio, radio than season three, than book three, because the book three, it, they found the radio just in a little bit of the, the middle part of the show, uh, and uh, it was, it was a good find because they found new people, and I, it's, it's good, it's good. Now they found new people and they know that they're out there. Okay, on top of the Statue of Liberty! 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 And um, we just know that it's going to be about more about the radio in that sense. And Jack, this time, is not going to ups is not going to try to uh, destroy the radio just like he did in the third book, I think. He does have to know that Rezog is definitely going to come back. We know that. And what's definitely going to happen is that Rezog is going to take that chance to try and infect Jack again. Just like she tried to do in um, the second, the third book. And it was, it's really insane. Because it's just a lot of things. And... The human might stop Jack, and I have a prediction that human is either Dirk's mother or Jack's mother, because we don't know anybody else that looks like that, because we've seen the Del Toros, and we see the the Bakers, Quinn Bakers, and we have not seen Dirk's and the Sullivan's, so I feel like Jack is going to have... Um, people that is going to be, that are going to be close to him, so it's going to be the opposite. He is going to lead them, they are going to be like, oh, he left us now. So I feel like that's going to happen. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but I've been making predictions. Also, I've been working on something super duper ultra quick. I should be touching the camera, guys. But this, I am making my own colossal bow. Yes, from the thing, I am making my own colossal bow. I mean, I probably won't, but I might try. So let's just wait for this end. So this is really like fun. Like, I, it's it's really interesting what's gonna come next, and I bet you. It's going to be more about zombies, and maybe we'll meet new creatures. And maybe Sorol will come back. Sorol. Maybe. We don't. We never know what's going to happen, but I don't know. You guys put your answers in the comments if the comments are available. But this isn't, like, really insane. Because I don't know. Like, this is insane because the this show is so cool. It has really good things, like, they put it up, they put it so, um, it makes it really good, they make it so, there are different things they have to deal with, like when Jack kills Rezog, which he meant, but, um, actually, he didn't, but you guys know what I'm talking about, I tried doing that, but then, Something might happen with the coaches again. 
which might be bad, because I, I, I'm, I'm really excited for the next um, season because uh, it's not going to happen in a while. So I just really like. I just really like to watch this and it's really, it's good. I watch it over and over again and I find kind of good secrets. But. It's not really good secrets. I, I'm literally going to try to make my own colossal bow pretty soon. Maybe even right now. But So, yeah. And I think it's, yeah. It, the first season, it's definitely going to show uh, a, a move of Rezok. Uh, something of Rezok. Just a reclip. And then it's going to go right back to the treehouse in... And in... Um, but it, it's going to be insane. Ah! This is going to be really insane. I'm really, I'm really excited. I don't know if they can do it. I mean, I was in one, but they have to because every time there's a cliffhanger, there, or, um, yeah, cliffhanger, I literally have PTSD. Post? It poked up. Oh, no! Yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video, and I will see you in a while. Bye.